On the Record, England's monthly TV show, highlighting the important and exciting stories of our community. At least, the best stories we were able to capture on the record. I'm Anna Giorgio, joined by Zach Brody and Ella Sheehy. In classy Staples fashion, we've heard some pretty cool summer vacation stories. From interviewing NBA broadcasting legend Mike Green, to chilling in Machu Picchu, to eating some world-famous Chicago deep-dish pizza, to studying at Oxford, our crew's been all over the place this summer. Well, with summer over, we return to the 06 AAO, and we want to give a warm welcome to everyone new to the Staples community, from our freshman class to our new students and staff. And now, if you're not new to Staples, you can probably guess what's up first. A message from the most stylish principal out there, Staples Principal Stafford Thomas, a.k.a. Staffy T. Hello Wreckers, Principal Thomas coming to you live from my office. Very excited to be on the first, the initial episode of On The Record. This is a new Inklings endeavor where you will get a video journal. Welcome, I've got my Link Crew shirt and just welcome in the class of 2026. So a shout out to all of you out there in the freshman class. We're excited to have you on board. It's gonna be a tremendous year. Go Wreckers. see a lot of new faces in the halls at Staples this year, and they're not just student faces. We have some new teachers in our school as well. Yeah, Anna, we were sad to see so many go last year, but I'm excited to see what our new 13 teachers and new assistant principal will bring to the community. All of them seem pretty excited to jump into Record Nation. Julia Herlin and our own Ella She caught up with a few of them just before the start of the year. So my first name is Carmine, and last name is Carica. So my first name is Stephanie. My last name is Cilio. My name is uh, Jeff Castaldi. My name is Max Cole. So I'm going to be teaching Algebra 1, three sections of Geometry, and one section of Greek Elements. I'll be teaching Graphic Design, uh, Printmaking and Advanced Printmaking, and AP Art. Uh, I'll be teaching uh, Biology at Staples High School. I'm going to be teaching Computer Science classes next year. I'll be doing Intro to Programming, uh, Embedded Systems, and, oh gosh, Web Design. I'm very much looking forward to showing everyone the beauty of math. I'm excited to work with students, and I'm excited to create some really fun art. Well, I'm excited to interact with the students. Uh, I always told my students uh, for years that uh, biology is going to be the highlight of the day, and, for, and the rest of it's going to be downhill from there. To kind of explore some creative projects with students. Um, once we get done with like the basic materials, I really want to let some of my classes go and develop some of their own ideas. Definitely Nassau, Bahamas. Hmm. I guess gallery hopping in any city. A Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Recently this summer I traveled to the Alps with my dad. I did a mountain biking trip. That was really fun. I really like that area. Uh, I'd have to say watermelon. Favorite summer times, I've been really into like fruit ice popsicles, like lime flavor. That's where it's been this summer. Ice cream, nothing better than ice cream. I like a sherbet. Uh, not an ice cream, a little bit too creamy. I hope to get more involved with the community as the years go on. Go Good. Please take my art classes. <laughs> I know, I'm just happy to be here. Everybody's been so supportive and collaborative, and I'm looking forward to a great school year. And I'm really excited at this school. I've had a really positive experience these first couple days. Everybody here is really organized, supportive, um, so it's been a really great experience so far. Sounds like we have some great new members in our community. Moving forward, we've got a different piece from two of our senior Inklings reporters. That's right, Lucy Doctor and Allie Gilman went around Staples asking students and Officer Ed their thoughts on superstitions, and they got some interesting responses. Let's roll the tape. My name is Lucy Doctor. And I'm Allie Gilman. Are you superstitious? If so, good. Because today, we're going to be asking Staples students about their beliefs on superstitions. Let's go. Are you superstitious? I am. What superstitions do you have? Um, like right now, all you can think about is like aliens. Aliens? Yeah, aliens. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Thank you. Do you have any superstitions? Yes. What are they? I knock on wood every time that I say something so I don't jinx it. What are your opinions on superstitions in general? They're valid. Period. Okay, thank you. 
No. <laughs> What's a common superstition that you have? Um. <laughs> uh, uh. Do I have any common superstition? Not really. No. I don't honestly. Do you have any opinions about them in general? Do I think they're real? Yeah. I think I think people have their own little things. You know what I mean? What are your opinions on superstitions? Oh my god. <laughs> I have no idea. Do you have any superstitions? Um, not really. I think it's all just myths. You don't think any superstitions are real? Mm -mm. <laughs> um, my biggest superstition is to not cheers with water because it means you wish death upon someone. <clears throat> I do the thing where I put like ice in the toilet for snow days and I also knock on wood all the time but it's not usually wood it's usually like my car my car it's the weirdest superstition that you've ever heard of um the crack thing like step on cracks you break your mother's back or grandma's rack back Okay, thank you girls for that. Finally, to finish off, we're talking about Staples' favorite topic, the sandwich line. I personally have spent an absurd amount of time thinking about what sandwich I want while waiting in that really long line, and then immediately freeze up when it's time to order. That's so true, Zach. Well, Inklings reporter and sandwich connoisseur Phoebe Miller went around Staples asking students and teachers what makes a sandwich line worth the wait. She got the scoop on favorite sandwich orders and even go up to talk with the workers behind the scenes. Let's check it out. So my name is Phoebe Miller and for my three years at Staples so far, I have had so many friends wait for like half of their lunch wave just for one sandwich. So I'm gonna go down and see what is so special about these sandwiches. Let's go. What is my sandwich order? I usually get a BLT with mozzarella on it. I, I can recognize that it's up to subjectivity, but it is what I enjoy most. So obviously, yeah, it is the best sandwich order, yes. The line often stretches on for 15 or 20 minutes with students and teachers alike browsing the options. So I do a whole wheat wrap with buffalo chicken, roast beef, spinach, when I'm feeling a little salty, I'll put some cheddar cheese on there. When I'm feeling hungry, I get avocado and chipotle aioli. When I'm in a rush, I get it cold. You don't actually need the panini press because their folding skills are top notch. That thing does not fall apart. They're excellent at that. Because the sandwich is such a popular item in the Staples cafeteria, I decided to talk with the ones who know them best, the people that make them. I order 14 dozen ciabatta rolls a day, oh, wow. so on top of all the other stuff. So, so we make a lot of sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Do you remember a really unique sandwich order you've gotten? We have uh, have someone that she likes just pickles toasted in the oven on ciabatta rolls. Um, but it's, you know, to each their own and whatever mm -hmm. makes you happy. With the large variety of sandwiches come a large variety of opinions and interesting anecdotes often stem from the sandwich line itself. One time I was ordering that sandwich minus the cheese and avocado and this guy to the side that I've never seen before, the student's just like, that's an interesting sandwich, man. And then I addressed them and I talked about something about like, you know, filling up on protein for beach season. And then he doubled down on the comment and said, that's an interesting sandwich. <laughs> And it made me feel a little self-conscious about my sandwich. Well, that wraps things up for this special back-to-school edition of On the Record. Make sure to tune back in every month for a new episode. From the On the Record team and everyone at Inklings, we would like to thank you for tuning in and hope you all have a great start to your school year. Go Record!